One Piece chapter 1014. Hey guys, this is my first time doing a One Piece chapter review, so let's get into it. Now, last chapter we ended off with Luffy falling off the rooftop of Onigashima. And from there, Kaido explains how uh, Luffy was using the technique and uh, why he couldn't defeat him. All Kaido was saying, he just couldn't use the technique right because he hadn't practiced enough with it. Then Kaido goes, gum gum, what was it again? Then he laughs. But then Kaido mentions that Luffy couldn't be Joy Boy. Now, the one thing I don't get is how does he know who Joy Boy is, but I think it's because he somehow either read Odin's book, well, that's probably the only way he found out about that, but we'll see what happens if they end up explaining it later on. Kaido then gets a call from uh, one of his men called Bo. He tells him that he's located Momonosuke and... Uh, Kaido says he'll be there as soon as he can. But also, he tells Bo to announce the results of Luffy versus Kaido. By announcing this, he wants Luffy's allies to lose hope and hopes that they will join Kaido. Now, it looks like Momonosuke has finished reading Odin's journal and he realises that he has to stay alive because there's an end end war coming at the end of one piece and he is going to be very important now we cut to chopper who is taking on queen and has just flipped him uh, over his shoulder and uh, put him to the ground and chopper looks tired worn out and he realizes that his attacks are doing nothing against queen but Chopper has also revealed that his gigantification has been extended from 3 minutes to 30 minutes, thanks to Caesar, and we end up getting a flashback of Caesar telling Chopper that he can extend it to 30 minutes if Chopper gets these ingredients. But I hope with that gigantification it can be extended again, and he train with it so he can be even stronger than he was oh and power sparrow is just shooting candy arrows at random into the enemy crowd then an announcement is made saying that the highest bounty straw hat luffy has been defeated and that straw hat luffy is sinking to the bottom of the ocean now they're making out that Luffy is dead but we all know Luffy's going to come back because he is the main character of the series and you can't kill the main character unless you want someone else to the main character but yeah he'll always come back like he did with other enemies and defeat the enemy that he's facing. Now at this point we see a montage of characters and events that are happening. You got Marco's reaction, or he says his straw hat. Then you got General Frankie, who can't believe that Luffy has been defeated. You got Jimbei versus Who's Who, and Who's Who is happy that Straw Hat is being defeated. You got Luffy sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Then you got Kaido turning into a dragon going up into the sky. Then you got Law, and then you got Big Mom versus Kid. And Big Mom says, aren't you worried about your friend? And uh, Kid just says, oh, like, I care about that idiot. <laughs> you got Nami, Usopp and Tama, even they're surprised that Luffy's been defeated. Then you got Robin. Then you got Zoro and Sanji. And S Sanji is carrying Zoro. And uh, they both say, screw that, because they said if they surrender now, they'll be able to join the, the beast pirates now we all know that none of the straw hats will surrender because uh, they all know luffy will come back better and stronger kinemon and uh, kiku are now with momonosuke and uh, shinobu and uh, odin ends up coming through the door and 
Shinobi can't believe that he's alive, but also Momonosuke is happy to see his dad, but Kiku ends up running towards him because she knows it's Kenjiro because Kenjiro has done this to Kiku and the others before. As Kiku is running, she yells out, it's not him. But then as she starts to swing her sword, she hesitates and Odin just stabs her through the stomach. It is quite an emotional scene because uh, Kinjiro has, did take out Ashura Doji before. Now as Kiku falls to the ground, Kinemon runs over and catches her. And uh, as she is falling, Kinjiro is revealed to be Odin again, who we already knew. Now Kiku says something about the dawn, I believe that's opening up Wano, but I'm not too sure about that, so don't quote me on that. But apart from that, let's get back to it. Now Kinemon ends up getting angry and attacking Kinjiro, and Kinjiro ends up going down defeated. Kinemon ends up remembering how they used to be friends, but not anymore. As soon as Kinemon puts his swords away, the roof comes crashing down in a burst of rubble. Now, it is revealed to be Kaido, and oh my goodness, it looks so good in the anime, I can't wait for it. But Kinemon ends up telling Shinobu to go on an escape and flee, run from Kaido. But then uh, Kinemon faces Kaido with his swords out and Kaido just gives him a whack on the head, breaking his swords. And the chapter ends with Onigashima almost hovering over the mainland. And that is the end of the chapter for this week. Now there was no break next week so that is good because I really want to see what happens with Momonosuke and Kaido and him trying to kill him. And it seems like the raid is failing but we'll see what happens and with Luffy falling off of Negashima he has to find some way to get back on Onigashima, but yeah, he has to be saved first, so I don't know who's going to save him, I do hope it's someone from uh, outside of Wano, but I think someone from Wano will probably save him, but it could be someone that jumps down, like Jinbei, but he's too busy fighting, but it could be someone that jumps down to save him, but I don't think that would happen either way. Anyway, I am actually super nervous recording these videos, but I will probably get better at recording these videos and better at editing these videos, so please stick with me for that, and I'm sorry for the quality of the audio, but this is the only mic I have, and I will upgrade when I can, so please stay tuned, and please like subscribe and share these videos and i'll see you in the next video bye